Just do what you have to do. I always do, Sam. I always do. The thing you have to understand is this. The Sam Fisher you knew is dead. America killed him, asked him to make one sacrifice too many, cross one line too far. A drunk driver killed him, some anonymous asshole who ran down his daughter and vanished. She was the one thing in his life that humanized him. And his agency killed him. It set him up, turned him loose, and told him to pull the trigger on his best friend in a dirty New York City basement. Irving Lambert died by Sam's hand that day. And so did Sam. So he left. Left her at Echelon, left the life he knew. Left America and mom and apple pie, left it all behind. He hopped off the grid and went walkabout, looking for a reason to go on living. Eventually, he found it. He caught a whisper in the wind that maybe his daughter's death hadn't been an accident. He heard a name, and he found somewhere to go looking. A city all right. called Valletta. It's in Malta. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Phone call for you. Please accept these compliments of your call. Sam. Who is this? How'd you find me? Give me a little credit, Sam. Don't tell me you don't recognize my voice even after all this time. Grim, what do you want? To save your life. We can go from there. A team of armed men just entered the marketplace looking for you. They're closing in on your position. Unless you do exactly what I say, this will be a very short conversation. I'm not doing a damn thing until you tell me how you found me. We're third echelon. We've got an eye on everyone. Look up. You'll see it. Come on, Sam. It's starting to attract attention. I see it. Then I can take it back up to safe altitude, and you can get moving. You still haven't told me how you found me. Move. You've got multiple hostiles inbound on your position, and from where you're at, you're a sitting duck. Now get to that group of stalls in the market. There's a lot of cover for you there. Just like the old days, huh, Grim? Just like the old days, Sam. Are you carrying? Yeah, but I'd rather not risk a firefight when there are civilians around. That's very noble of you. But right now, what matters to me is getting you out of there in one piece. So get to that group of booths right now, or I can't help you, Sam. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a playthrough, walkthrough of Splinter Cell Conviction. Uh, I played this game a few times, and uh, I really, really like that. And because it's made by my one of my favorite gaming companies, Ubisoft. Anything that Ubisoft makes is great. And Rockstar, it's my one of my favorite. Yeah. So I'm gonna try my best to play this game and present it to you in professional way. So let's get to it. Whoa, what's going on in there? Okay, she she caused the chaos. <laughs> uh, Twenty years ago, of course. Uh, let's listen up. Hey there, kiddo. What's wrong? I don't like the dark. It's scary. Turn on the light for me, please. Come on, sweetie. There's nothing to be afraid of in the dark. Sometimes darkness is a good thing. Like when you want to go to sleep. I could go to sleep with the light on. When it's light, you can't see into a place that's dark. But when it's dark, you can see what's around you much better. Really? Really. So if there's monsters or bad people around, 
time you can see them. And if you're in the dark, they can't see you. I can't see you either. Can you please turn the light back on? Okay. Then how about this? There's one really cool thing I didn't show you yet. There is? Show me. Okay, here it is. When you're in the dark and your eyes get used to it, you can see all sorts of things around you really well. And then you can do stuff with them. Like what? Take a look at your mobile. You can see it really well, right? If there were monsters standing underneath it, because I can see it, maybe I could make it fall on them and they'd go away. And it would fall on their heads and they wouldn't be bad anymore? That's my girl. Teddy, what was that? Daddy needs you to stay in bed now, okay? He's going to shut the door and have back real soon, all right? Okay, Daddy, I love you. Stay in bed. There you go, Sam. Nice and dark, just the way you like it. All right, cool. Nice, dark, and romantic. Uh, we're back in the marketplace. All right, let's take out those goons. All right, let me aim it. Whoa, now, bear with me. I haven't played this game like quite a few years. It came out in 2008, so... Bear with me, I gotta get used to it again. Mostly requires stills over here, but... Uh, stills could be very boring, so... I like shooting. Killing. You know, that's my thing, so... Alright, I'll show you myself, don't worry about Is that it, Fisher? You're running away? Got him. Alright, cutscene you coming up. Anything? Let's listen up. Shit. You picked it, asshole. You said we'd get a couple of thou east. I heard there was metals and shit we could fence in here. The lady that lives here is hot. Maybe we can wait for her to come home. Yeah, you better not. You better get out of here. Now you're talking. Okay, this is a combat training. So I get used to it. Ooh. Ooh. Let's mark them. I remember this. But I still gotta get used to it. Like I said, I haven't played this quite a few years, so... I just found it in my uh, archives, my gaming archives, so I decided to give it a shot. I just started my channel, so uh, about four months ago I'm trying to build it up, be a successful. Dad, what did you do? Okay, let's listen up to this cutscene. Sam, what are you doing Dad? What are you doing? Sam, talk to me. Don't check out on me. No, I'm not. Oh, there you oh, are. This Grim is so annoying, man. And the man the I can't shots stand her. I don't know. Get a hold of him. I'll ID him and you can figure out what questions to ask. Okay, let's move on. Now, I'm doing this commentary while I'm playing, so bear with me. <laughs> I'll get better. Much better. This is a great game, though. Great, great freaking game. Uh, I see two, two dudes. No. Oh, that's a Minekins. I thought it was guys. I thought it was people. Right, I'm just training. Just try to remember how to play. Oh, there's a guy over here. Let's take him out. I gotta be careful though. Because sometimes they turn around while you uh, while you're sneaking up on them and they alarm the others. Okay, perform hand to hand kill. Nice! Nice neck breaker. Uh, execute. Be. Lock the targets, got it. Here we go. One, two, got him. Headshot, nice. I'm telling you, the Ubisoft is the best company, best gaming company. I, I don't know, I, I can't. Uh, I don't even know uh, any others. The good ones. I mean, they need, there's more others, but uh, not like Ubisoft. C come on, you can't compare Ubisoft I with the other ID companies. The leader, Sam. His name is oh. Ramco, so local Shit, I'm sorry about boss. that. He hires himself and his gang out on a regular basis. About my so body list over now. here. Why don't you ask him? I think I will. Okay, we're gonna ask him. Who you working for? Well, let's go over there. And we're gonna go over there. <laughs> no, 
All right, here it comes. All right, we're gonna take him down now. Nice. I don't know who simulated though those uh, those combat shot uh, co combat takedowns. Uh, too far. Let me take it off. Yeah, that one. Here you go. The other guy I have to interrogate. So. I can have four marks later, but uh, you need the gun for that. Another gun, so I'm gonna get it later. Oh shit. Oh, I almost got killed over there. Yeah, I have to interrogate this guy, I cannot kill him. For the thousand bucks? That's cheap. <laughs> That's how much I worth thousand bucks. What is this noise? Take him down. I don't wanna risk it because they're gonna You gotta kill him! I don't wanna die. I'm out of here. Good, go in there. I'm gonna fuck you up now. Just let me get to you. Can I make a phone call now? <laughs> Uh, let's go down there. Ooh, look at this dirt. Ah, he's got a shotgun, huh? Whoa! Oh! Alright, let's interrogate this asshole. Nice! Nice! No more playing around. Who sent you? I'm not telling you a goddamn thing! Alright, let's let's see if you said it on the toilet. On the pizza. What is it? Yeah. Whoa! Oh, that that guy's strong, man. Okay, enough. You want to know? Send me. It's Coben, Andre Coben. You better start talking, Lunch brother. Talks, guns, anything people want, he gets it for them. Not good enough. Why does Coben want me dead? <laughs> All right. Now right, let's get him over there. Boom! Against the mirror. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh yeah! <laughs> yeah. He, he drove the car to hit your daughter. Used to brag about it, you know? Uh, heard you were coming, so he hired me to... How about against the door? I don't know. There's somebody sitting there, I remember. Man. Yeah. Where do I find him? <laughs> bang! Bang! In the city, the old museum on King George Street. It's his place now. Guards out front and on the sides. Don't tell him I told you. Oh, I'm not going to tell him a damn thing. Where, where? Where you want me to? Ah, he, he killed him. You know, Sam could be a best in uh, cage fights. All right, let's listen up. Don't tell him I told you. But I knew all along that's where Sam would be going. Anything dirty in Malta ran through that mansion. Coben's whole operation was based there, and he turned the place into a fortress. Which, to be fair, it pretty much was to start with. And that was before he filled the place with jumpy guys toting automatic weapons. But Sam knew Coben was in there. And that he might know something about what happened to his daughter. So. Sam was going in, no matter what. Andre Corbin's mansion. Of course, Andre Corbin is Russian. Of course, they made Russians are bad guys. <laughs> Again, I'm from there, but I'm not that bad. All right, let's get started. We got new abilities. We got mirror. I mean, we're gonna have a mirror. Now we got mirror. All right, let's go take a peek. All right, part two is coming up, guys, so stick around. Thank you.